everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. Great day today. Um, it's be a very fun video because um, there has been so much hype going going around the internet about wide body C8 Corvettes, and um, I've actually been getting a lot of comments regarding it. So here's the deal. You know what? I want to show you this really really cool footage I got of a, a wide body C8 Corvette actually being auctioned off. Now this is one of the most one off um, builds I've ever seen for a C8, and it, it, it blew me away quite honestly. And also the number, the price figure they got for it at Bear Jackson is unreal so you know what check out this video and then i want to break it down because um, there's so many things that people aren't, re aren't really covering regarding the topic of wide body c8 corvettes and here we have a wide body c8 corvette finished in the same color as mine that is a, a torch red and as you can see this ain't no ordinary c8 corvette right away we have carbon fiber inserts in front of the front grills also we have a much larger diffuser that goes much further down but looking left this is where it gets very interesting as you can see there's actually a wide body front bumper and also rear bumper the front end sticks out this way well actually scratch that the whole front bumper everything is the exact same as stock but they've bolted on different components throughout the entire vehicle to give it a much wider stance look at this what do you think about it? i've not seen a wide body ca corvette in person and um, it is very very interesting to me it does make me wonder what what the future variants are going to be like when it comes to the higher performance models that being azora a c8 z06 or zr1 right because we could be seeing a similar wide body design that we see in the car but as you can see looking this way we have a two-tone accent built right in you've kind of got a boxy front fender over both front wheels look at this it's kind of it goes sharp on each corner and then it straightens out sort of kind of like a uh, bent dive plane i don't know it looks very interesting i will be honest though i don't know if i'm if i'm exactly a fan of the design of the wide body i, I kind of prefer the smooth flowing fender pieces that you find on like gt350s uh gt500s this reminds me more of what you see like on a, a toyota pickup truck when it comes to like like the bushwhacker fenders nonetheless it is cool seeing builds like this out there and having a ca corvette finish in the same color that being torch red and seeing this the stance is so different especially towards the rear end look at that wing i do wonder if it actually produces any extra downforce or improves the performance of the car in any way however the car has got stance it's got a very bold bold appearance that makes you uh, instantly look at it and tell that hey this is not no ordinary c8 corvette and whoa look at that towards the center you've got these um supporting beams these arms and i'm wondering how does this work if you were to open the back hatch to get into the engine bay that is one of the things that i'm curious about because as you know you've got to be able to work on that 6.2 liter v8 that produces 495 horsepower and having these beams built in obviously the rear hatch is not strong enough to support a wing by any means so i wonder why that is and if this wing if this wing is mounted towards the back rear bumper how would you lift this up as you can see you've got kind of a floating blade in the back like my 600 lt made to help get all the air out of the back wheel well if it was designed with that in mind um anyways though you have a custom exhaust setup as well and there's a ferrari 488 pista that car it's one of my favorite cars ever it was so hooked up when i was driving it anyways though what's really really interesting is that it, they're holding their value that got almost five hundred thousand dollars so it seemed like there's carbon fiber on the wheels but i don't think it's an actual carbon fiber wheel i think it's one of those two-tone where you can get custom finishes on the outer side that you can visually see nonetheless i'm curious how, how wide is this so the, the owner is using pirelli tires and oh yikes look at that that's super super close the clearance i wonder i think it's bagged actually and it's lowered because there's no way you can drive or even turn so it's got 285 30 zr 20s up front you've got 355s oh my gosh that that is so wide that is so crazy to see so i'm running 305s on my c8 corvette um that is i think maybe too much rubber if you're running stock power because on track 
305s are, are the, the sweet spot for this car, I believe. If you are increasing the power with it though, then I would say the 355s would help a lot. However, what happens a lot is that people, they put on super wide wheels because it makes the car visually look even better sometimes. And from this angle right here, you can really see this wide body effect. It reminds me of like a Toyota tr pickup truck where it's got like the bolted on fender pieces. I think it is a bummer if you didn't want to take it off because you may have just ruined the actual body of your C8 Corvette. It kind of echoes the effect of the side intake. It's got that bolted on effect. It kind of reminds me of like the Rocket Bunny designed uh, Toyotas or Subaru BRZs. However, I really like the black finish over the front roof going all the way down to above the engine bay. It looks really good. The roof itself is the optional carbon fiber roof that you can buy when you're ordering this car. Nonetheless, the owner bought this car here at the Scottsdale auction for get ready for a drum roll. How much money do you think the owner spent? Well, $145,000. So what did you think of that footage right there? Now, it was a few months ago, I will admit that, and I, I completely forgot to share with all of you, but um, checking it out, a torch red wide body C8 Corvette, it is unreal seeing it because um, obviously it doesn't have the same style design as a normal C8 because it looks to me almost like they've gone to the JDM route, that audience base. It reminds me so much of like the Rocket Bunny BRZs and so forth. Here are the major things that I noticed looking at that wide body C8 Corvette. First of which, being a bolted on um, ground effects package, the issue that I see going on is that it may look really, really cool and good when the car is stationary or maybe even rolling, but what happens when you take that to the racetrack? Because as you know, the entire car has been engineered with this body in mind, right? When you start bolting on different components all throughout the entire vehicle, well, you got to keep in mind regarding chassis flex and also how well it's just going to hold up because on track with that kind of ground effects package and that wide body kit, I wonder if it can survive tracks like Laguna Seca all out without getting ripped off almost. I wonder what happened then also if you had a pothole on the street. Plus one of the things to keep in mind is that this car being engineered the way it is, they took this body design and tested it through wind tunnels. How, how are these wide body kits thoroughly tested when it comes to the airflow? Because they could in fact increase the drag of the car, slowing it down when it comes to the acceleration. Here comes the next aspect on the cover. Putting on 355 tires on the back of a 490 horsepower car. Now, it would be a different story if, let's say, it was front engine. But being mid-engine and having that increased central mass right behind you, what happens is that already with 305s, it's plenty tire. You know, even my stock 600T with, you know, 600 horsepower, it came with uh, 285s out back. This car has way less horsepower and it has um, essentially wider tires than my McLaren had stock. So when you put on 355s, you get to the point where it's, you're doing it mainly for the look, the stance, the style, right? But performance, you'll actually in turn be slowing the car down because even though you're thinking, well, with that much of a wider tire, you're increasing corner and grip you could have potentially um, on a racetrack. But accelerating, what happens is that you, it's got so much higher levels of grip than you need with this car that you're using extra power to get all that extra rubber to move when it comes to rolling on the ground. So in turn, the car does not need 355s. It's like, here's the best example. If you put on, let's say, 355s on like a Mazda Miata, what would happen then? Would the car be faster? No, it'd slow it down. Imagine if you are a world-class marathon runner and um, you wear size 10 shoes. Well, by putting on size 20 shoes, will you be running any faster? In turn, it makes the car harder to run with that powertrain. The next point of discussion is regarding that rear wing. So, so please let me know in the comment section down below, what do you think of that increased huge rear wing in the back? Because um, again, it does give off a very aggressive stance, but um, it's got a very specific style with that in mind. Again, it looks more JDM to me than anything. This, I think, fits the car well, but um, if you're going down that wide body route, of course, uh, putting on like a crazy wing like that would 
would just fit uh, perfectly w w with the kit. Um, let me know what you think again. Here's my question though. How are you going to open up this trunk? Because if you can see right here, the design of the stock high wing spoiler is that it's pushed more this way. So it's that, so it gives you just the perfect amount of space, a gap if you will, so that when you open up this entire um, engine compartment, your fingers can reach straight down and then you can lift it up. So uh, with that rear wing, I'm thinking maybe it stays with this entire huge moving panel. But with that in mind, I don't believe this, this would actually give you enough support needed to um, allow for high downforce wings to be mounted right on top. I think you just dent it, wouldn't you, through the top? I'm not sure. Please let me know what you think in the comments section down below. I know for a fact from what I've heard online, you can't mount bigger wings to the back bumper itself uh, of the stock C8. That's where this is mounted as well. And the reason why is because there's just not enough support. They need extra support with bracing to hold a bigger rear wing. That's why you don't see increased downforce with, with the high wing spoiler. To be honest with you though, I'd much rather see a, um, a more curvy wide body kit, kind of like the C8R, because it just flows so well with the car. This one again, it's very blocky and just sharp, but they, they've designed it that way for a reason, you know? I bet plenty of people out there who would prefer that kind of kit on this car. How would you like to see it more curvy again, or kind of like that more angular boxy effect? Anyways, thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button to help me out. Also subscribe for much more great videos coming your way. And while I do that, hit the notification bell so you're up to date with all new videos coming out. I'll see all of you in the next episode.